Gestation diabetes can have a huge impact on, on, on both uh, fetus and mother. And it's good to remember that when you have gestational diabetes, if your blood sugars are high, your chances of getting a large-sized baby are there. So you get a large-sized baby because of which there can be issues about delivery, there can be something called shoulder obstruction at birth, there can be other issues. The, ch the baby after birth may get low blood sugars, very seriously low blood sugars for a variety of reasons. So a large baby problems during uh, uh, delivery, respiratory distress, uh, complications uh, at birth in the baby are, are serious problems. For the mother, of course, gestational diabetes during pregnancy, of course, produces problems. But it's even more important for the mother to realize that gestational diabetes is like a warning sign for future diabetes. So while we manage gestational diabetes well during pregnancy, we will be able to avoid many of the complications. Also, such a woman who had gestational diabetes, once she delivers a child, the diabetes usually becomes all right. But such a woman is at risk for developing diabetes future in life, in future life. So it's very, very important that, that anybody who's had GDM, as we call it, gestational diabetes, is checks herself regularly. For example, we found this very commonly. A woman comes to us during pregnancy. People are very careful because they're worried about their child. Because they're worried about their child, they will make a lot of effort to control really well during pregnancy. Delivery happens and, and it all comes to a full stop. We always advise them to come back at six weeks with a glucose tolerance test and test annually thereafter. But many women don't. We always advise them to maintain their, their diet, health and exercise regularly after delivery. Most women don't. I would make one comment in this regard which is very important. That is diets that very often are advised by, 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 by traditional sort of, uh, you know, um, practices or diets that are followed traditionally in this regard are not necessarily healthy. In the current context, women are often given, in my experience, a lot of high fat content foods, a lot of very high calorie content foods in the post delivery period when they are feeding their child. And that is often increases their obesity. It's very funny. In India, at, at the time of marriage, most girls are lean and underweight. And it is quite accepted within 10 years of marriage, they all bloat up because after all, they've had three kids. It doesn't work like that. They basically bloat up because they eat the wrong kinds of food as advised by their families in the immediate post-delivery period. So it's important to have high protein and healthy food in the post-delivery period and not food that is full of fat and, 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 and you know, high calories with, with sugar. And that predisposes such people. So at least those who have a tendency for gestational diabetes, who have a strong family history or have risk factors, should be very careful about their diet uh, immediately following uh, childbirth.